Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be drawing numbers for the Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. And I'm a little bit behind, so I think this is week... I see that was four, five. So I'm pulling numbers for week six for me. And I also wanted to show you, this is the, the journal, the... The recipe book that I was using for it and I finally put a cover on it and I saw someone do something similar using this type of paper it comes in my um, subscription boxes the, the items are wrapped in these and I thought what a great idea she used ribbon and in some I think she also painted them so I just took some yarn and with a needle, just went ahead and threaded that through, and I really like the way it came out. I can add more, and I'm also thinking of um, putting, um, you know, a design on here as well. So, but I really like the way it turned out. So, just glued it down there, and so that's kind of cool. All right, so to get on here, this is a bingo collage hosted by Lori from Enchanted Dreams seventy one. So let's see what we pull out. So just pulling out five prompts. So this one is 20, and I have my list here. So 20 is instructions. I'm just going to write that on here. Hmm. So I have to see. I mean, I guess I could use instructions for maybe creating a craft or... Um, a recipe, I think a recipe is, is considered instructions. So 28, let me just mark this one off. 28 is a chain. Oh, a chair, actually, sorry. A chair. Okay, I'm sure I have a picture of a chair. Let's see here. Hope everyone is doing well. 62. 62 is water. Okay. I'm just going to write that down here. So that's three. So I have two more. This one is 27. And 27 is squares. Put that down there. And my last one is oops. Let's do that one. 49. And 49 is tissue paper. Okay, I've got that. So my prompts are tissue paper, squares, water, a chair and instructions so let's see what i come up with okay so here are some of the things that i came up with for water and chair i found these in a magazine so watering can and then this picture which has water in the background and there's a chair right there and for squares i have these wooden squares and I also have this embossed um, soda can. And when I embossed it, look, you could see the squares in there. So I'm going to cut those out. And for the for these squares, I found this origami paper. And I'm going to adhere it to these squares here with my one-inch punch. So I'm going to punch that out. And I also have this paper here. So one's already cut out, so I can use this. Um, as a template and then I'm going to cut some squares out of here. For instructions, I found this in a magazine. It's Blackberry Fools and it actually has the picture. So I'm gonna use this as my instructions for the recipe. And tissue paper, I have this tissue paper here in a leopard print. So that's what I'm going to use. Going to use my matte gel and let's see what I come up with. All right, so here I am back with the completed collage pages, and I decided not to put in this one, but I will save it maybe for another collage. And so my prompts were instructions, which I put here. This is a, a recipe for Blackberry Fools, and then here's the picture of it. 
Then I had a chair. So I have here the chair with the table, water. So I have this water right here. And I also put in some blue washi tape because uh, it just made me think of sparkling blue water. And then tissue paper is this leopard print tissue paper and then squares, which I have little pieces of squares taped or glued down. Um, here's the wooden one with the origami paper. So that's still drying. I used some E6000. This I also used E6000. It's from the um, soda can. So I cut that out. It was em embossed. Here's another piece of the soda can origami paper and another one with the wood with a small little piece of origami paper on there. So this just makes me think of sitting out, you know, enjoying the scenery. Uh, this butterfly is from the Tim Holtz collection. And I thought, darn, out of everything, um, there wasn't really anything that tied into the prompts, but I w did want to use it. So I added this butterfly and I added something else, but maybe not. Um, oh yeah, and then this, this little flower here. And then I put some wash washi tape here, some sparkly copper washi tape to tie in the color and so again just sitting out enjoying the scenery waiting for my dessert to come and I hope you enjoy this and I do have to have let this dry so I'll probably be catching up to my other week probably sometime this week but hope everyone's having fun and enjoying their Sunday and see you soon bye